Dozens of kids are waiting at UPMC Children's Hospital right now for a life-saving transplant. Several years ago, little Lo Lucas Goler was one of them. His mom harnessed the power of social media to launch a nationwide search for a new liver. He got it, and he's all grown up now. Facebook and Twitter often get their fair share of criticism, but today, on National Social Media Day, Lucas's story is a wonderful reminder of the good aspects of social platforms. I caught up with his mom to see how he's doing and talk about the gift he received from a little girl, making Lucas's future possible. So Jessica, I wanna start off by asking, why did you turn to social media for help with Lucas? Uh, we were on the transplant list for over a year and a half and Lucas was declining rapidly. Uh, he only had days, days to live. And uh, honestly, God told me to start a Facebook page for Lucas and it was hard uh, to deny him that. So I did and, and it just exploded, it, it took off and it, it went uh, national and international. Do you think the power of social media saved your son? Uh, most definitely. There's uh, no doubt in my mind, uh, just because uh, we needed that wide reach, we needed to do that organ donation awareness campaign to, to really put a face to a need. And I think once everybody saw, saw a face of someone in need, they were just so in tuned and emotional and wanting to help. And it really drew a lot of positive attention to organ donation awareness, which was, was exactly what I wanted. And I remember, uh, seeing a message that was really specific. And it said, hi, uh, what is Lucas's weight? And what is his blood type? And I remember answering that really quickly. Just uh, something hit me a little bit later. And, and I thought, holy cow, uh, that has to be a mother who is, is wanting to help Lucas. How does Olivia continue to live on through your son? Oh, and, and every day everyday gifts. I, I, it was funny. It's funny because I, I would, I just can't wait to talk to Larissa in person because I feel like she has so many stories yet that she has to tell us about Olivia. And I think on a personal level, it would be great to hear those on a more intimate level because soon after Lucas's transplant, when Lucas could finally talk because he wasn't able to talk up until this point of the transplant, he started to really express himself. And one of the things that he really loved was dolphins. And here, shortly after the transplant, I received in the mail um, Olivia's last picture, which was a dolphin. What do you want to say to Pittsburgh and people who have been following your son's journey and are going to be really excited to hear this update? Uh, well, I'd like to thank them for all of the years of support. Still yet, six years later, we still have an amazing group of, of people who still follow Lucas's story every day. and and they continue to pray for us on our journey. And they continue to support organ donation awareness, which is really just amazing that they remember the roots of our mission here uh, and how it all started. Well, Jessica, thank you for your time and tell Lucas we are thinking about him and rooting him on. I will, thank you, Megan.